A young woman's legacy lives on through her passion for education. It's been 10 years since the disappearance and murder of Morgan Harrington, but tonight she's being honored at the 7th annual Docs for Morgan basketball tournament. And that's where 10 News reporter Rachel Lucas is live. Rachel. That's right, Morgan was studying at Virginia Tech to become a teacher. In the summer before her senior year, she worked at Virginia Tech Carillion School of Medicine. And that's why this basketball tournament, Docs for Morgan, raises money for a scholarship now in her name that will help put a future doctor through medical school. Morgan Harrington is a name and story not forgotten in Southwest Virginia. It took us five years to get a trial. And although her parents, Dan and Jill, wonder 10 years later what their daughter's life would have been like. I would have loved to see how she turned out mm -hmm. because she was just such fine stuff. They've made sure her story lives on past her death. We really wanted to figure out a way uh, to not have uh, this tragedy sort of uh, hurt us in more ways. Mm -hmm. And so this was kind of our response uh, to uh, evil, you know, and how do we heal ourselves? And the Harringtons will tell you part of healing is fulfilling what Morgan could have been to the world. In helping other people, it really has helped us. A bright future ahead. Morgan was studying to be a teacher at Virginia Tech. The day her body was found, the Morgan Dana Harrington Scholarship Fund was established to help other promising young students earn a medical degree. The Dogs for Morgan basketball tournament, now in its seventh year, raises money for the scholarship. Starting the scholarship helps us help other students, and the students uh, who are becoming doctors have uh, incredible medical debt, and so the scholarship, which has raised so far about $400,000, you know, gives some opportunity to help reduce that debt. In grief, the Harringtons have found a new path forward. We not only have survived, you know, the worst tragedy that a family can, but what we have over time come to a place where we can give back. In addition to the scholarship, an educational wing in Zambia, Africa is now named for Morgan. <laughs> giving an education to hundreds of impoverished children. The truth of it is, is more children than Morgan would ever have taught mm -hmm. are being educated in her honor in Africa. Jill now operates the national headquarters of Help Save the Next Girl from Her Basement. Nationally known, the organization has opened a door and a conversation to prevent another tragedy like Morgan's. It's an issue of our time. In the past decade, dozens of collegiate and high school chapters with hundreds of young members have opened across the country discussing personal safety. I know that we have saved lives. While the life of their daughter will never be replaced, Jill and Dan have turned a tragedy into something beautiful. We lost so much, Rachel, we lost so much, but we have been blessed in equal measure. A blessing they've chosen to accept and give back to the world. What do you think Morgan would say today to see everything that she's done and that you all have done? She would be flabbergasted. Yeah. I, I really think she would be astounded. We're kind of astounded when we yeah. uh, look in, and see what we've cobbled together, you know, bit by bit over the last decade. You know, and in some ways, I mean, you're coming today. I mean, we're 10 years out. The story still resonates with people. A story that remains unfolding as the life of Morgan Harrington lives on. It's really such a beautiful thing that the Harringtons have been able to do in honor of their daughter to give back to their community. And that's why so many people are passionate about what's happening here tonight. As you can see, a lot of people out ready practicing and we are expecting a big crowd. And if you'd like to come, it's here at Patrick Henry High School. It starts at seven. Admission is free, but donations can be made to go to the scholarship fund. Live in Roanoke, I'm Rachel Lucas, 10 News, working for you.